Jesus, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hey, everybody, it's your girl, it's your favorite prophetess, Pastor Regina Bruce Peoples, coming in to wish you, you and you, a very happy and prosperous new year. Thank the Lord we have made it to 2021, and that is enough to praise God. Hallelujah. He deserves the praise, and if you've made it, to see January 1st, 2021. It is praiseworthy. Come on and give God a praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we bless you. We give you all the praise and all the glory, all the honor and all the reverence that is due your holy and righteous name. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming in. Go ahead, click like, tag, share, let somebody know, let everybody know that the prophetess of the Lord is on. God's prophetess, your favorite prophetess, Pastor Prophetess Regina Bruce Peoples. To God be all the glory. Everyone, thank you, Jesus. We made it. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. We made it. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know about you, but I just got joy in my heart that I have seen. 2021 and my prayer is that the Lord will keep us all so that we can see 2022 amen hallelujah I want to encourage you today those that are watching those that will catch the replay to expect great things expect great things expect great things glory to God hallelujah God is so worthy and deserving of praise. I want to encourage you. Do not hold back on your praise on God in this season. Don't hold back your prayers. Don't hold back your prayer requests. Do not suffer in silence. Open up your mouth and begin to decree the word of God over your life. Begin. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Talk to that situation and don't let that that situation talk to you hallelujah you know they say tell tell don't don't just tell God your problem but tell your problem about your God hallelujah if he has done it before he's going to do it again and whatever you are standing in the need of I want to let you know that God is going to provide God is going to literally Hallelujah. No, we cannot let our guards down because we are over in 2021. Praise God. Don't let your guard down. Do not come down off the wall. Don't give up and don't give in. Glory to God. God bless you for everybody that's coming in. Go ahead, click like, tag, and share. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. It is your girl, everybody. Hallelujah. But I'm just a servant of the Most High God. God sent me to encourage you, to keep you encouraged in him, hallelujah, and in the things of him. I don't have a heaven or a hell to put you in, but the word of God says, hallelujah, that we have not because we ask not. So let's ask God for what we need in this season and let's trust him and believe because he said, when you pray, believe that you have what you ask for when you pray and you shall receive it. He told us also in his word, Hallelujah. We're two touching and agreeing in the earth realm and we ask in Jesus name. He's going to do it for us. Hallelujah. In this season, you need prayer partners. You need to get connected with people that know how to pray. Hallelujah. So that you can cause your prayer life to increase and go to a whole new level in God. Hallelujah. And we want to welcome you to join us Monday. Hallelujah. Through Sunday. Sunday for 9 a.m. prayer. Hallelujah. We pray at 12 noon. 
Come on, join us. Get on the prayer call. And that is a conference call where we come together and we bombard heaven on your behalf. Glory be unto God. And this morning, I'm telling you that prayer line was so hot. Hallelujah. Because the prayers, the fervent prayers of a righteous man availing much. Glory to God. We thank and praise God for the inner assessors that he has on the wall that are praying and interceding on behalf of God's people. Hallelujah. All of us are called to pray y'all. Everybody is called to pray because Luke 18 and one says man ought to always pray. Hallelujah. And we are to pray without ceasing. We are to pray and faint not. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And no, everybody prayers are not going to sound the same. And no, everybody can't pray like another one. You pray on the ability according to the ability that God has given you. And no, we don't judge anyone. We want everybody praying. Hallelujah. If you got a prayer life, come on, exercise your gift. God has given us all gifts and talents. Hallelujah. For his glory, the gifts and talents that God has given us is for his glory. And we need to use our gifts and talents to tell somebody about Jesus, to tell them about his goodness, about his mercy, about his loving kindness. He is a faithful and a just God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But we owe God a praise, y'all, and we need to praise him with everything in us. Let's start this year strong so that we can finish this year strong. Glory be unto God. Hallelujah. They say how you start is how you going to finish. But I like to say it ain't how you start. It's how you finish. So let's glory to God. Finish this year strong, thanking and praising him. I know we're starting it strong. I'm understanding. But see, you got to understand in God, we be ahead of time. Amen. We, we done already won and got victory this year. Amen. And everything I want you to to know everything is working for your good everything is working for your good glory to God for those of you that are not saved and have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior it's never too late you don't have to wait till Sunday you can be saved right now you can accept Jesus and the work that he done for you on Calvary's cross you can accept him right now so I want to tell everybody it's not too late hallelujah to turn from sin It's not too late to give your life over unto the Lord. It's not too late to start living saved, to start living sanctified, to start living holy. It's not too late to separate yourself from the people that God has been trying to separate you from. Hallelujah. But you just keep holding on to them. It's not too late to come out of that abusive relationship. It's not too late. Glory be unto God. Hallelujah. To come out of that situation that doesn't mean you any good. It's not too late, hallelujah, to go back to school if you desire to go back to school. It's not too late, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Whatever you want to do in God, he's given you the ability and the skills to do it. I'm telling you, this is the year that shall, hallelujah, we shall see promises fulfilled over our lives. Hallelujah. This is the year. Glory be unto God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, I understand. And yes, I know the coronavirus is still here. So, of course, exercise caution wear your mask, use your hand sanitizer, stay out of large crowds, glory to God, hallelujah, exercise, God gave us wisdom, people of God, and wisdom tells us, hallelujah, to do the things, take the necessary precautions for safety, because God said we're not to tempt the Lord thy God, hallelujah, well, when you go out and you don't have your mask, you tempting God, you pressing your luck, you trying and you want to see, is it going to happen to me? Hallelujah. But the Lord said, do not tempt him. Hallelujah. But then on the other hand, God said, try me. Hallelujah. And see if I won't pull you out of blessing. You don't have room enough to receive. Well, I like that part of the uh, uh, the Bible where he said, try him. Prove me now wherewith. How are you going to prove God? Hallelujah. In your tithe and in your offering. God said, give and it shall be 
be given unto you. Good measure, press down, shake it together and running over shall men give into your bosom. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And that passage of scripture is not just for pastors, apostles, and prophets. Uh, that passage of scripture is for you, the believer. Hallelujah. Because he said, whatsoever a man soweth, uh, that shall he also reap. So if you've been sowing, uh, you ought to also be reaping. Uh, if you've been giving, you ought to also be receiving. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. God doesn't have respect to a person. The word works. Hallelujah. But you got to work it. Thank you, Jesus. He said, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. Press down, shake it together and running over shall men give into your bosom. Hallelujah. I know. I understand everybody. We just came off of Christmas and I understand that you got some blessings that you were expecting and you also got some unexpected blessings. Huh? Well, God God is in the unexpected blessing business. Ha, hallelujah. God wants to do something new for you. He wants to do something great for you. All you got to do is trust him. Hallelujah. Trust God, people of God. Trust him. Hallelujah. Trust God and watch him. Watch him work. Watch him bless you for your obedience. Bless, bless, bless. All you're going to see this year is blessings and more blessings are going to come from your obedience and trusting and obeying God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank and praise God for those that have trusted him, those that tried him in 2020 and no glory to God that he worked it out for you and you know, hallelujah, you understand the law of reciprocity. You understand what you put out is what's going to come back to you. So you have sold good seeds. That means you've done good deeds. You prayed, you fasted. Hallelujah. Some of you have cried. But I want to let you know you don't have to cry anymore because God is going to turn it around for you. It's going to work in your favor. Hallelujah. Glory be unto God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless each and every one of you that have clicked, liked, tagged, and shared. Hallelujah. Ain't nothing too hard for God. There's nothing too hard for God. Hallelujah. Nothing. I don't care what your situation is. I don't care how difficult your situation seems. God specializes in the impossible. What seems impossible with man is possible with God. When you have gone and got to your wit's end, when you don't know nothing else to do but trust God, that's when God wants you to just move, step aside, and let him show you, I've had you the whole time. I, I brought you out of this. I I brought you out of that. I took you through this and I'm going to take you through that. Come on. I don't care what it is, whether it's divorce, whether it's the loss of a job, whether, whether it's the loss of a, of a loved one, the loss of a relationship, uh, 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 whatever it is, God got you. God got you. You still owe him a praise and you ought to just give it to him. You ought to just give it to him. Give God the praise that is due his holy and righteous name. Give God the praise because God, hallelujah, deserves the praise. Psalms 100 says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Let us be rejoicing in the Lord. Let us serve the Lord with gladness. Let us be a God pleaser in this year and not a man pleaser. Let's do the things that please God by walking in obedience. Let us do the things that please God by studying 
studying his word, studying that we can show ourselves approved. Workmen's need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Hallelujah. Let us glory to God. Go on in faith. Let us stay in faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us be faithful over the few things so that he can make us ruler over much. If God has gifted you, use your gift and your talents for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Can't nobody beat you being you. Can't nobody be you better than you can. Do what God has called you to do. Write your book. Write your song. Record that CD. Hallelujah. Make that dress you've been wanting to make. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Bake that cake you've been wanting to bake. Learn a new skill, learn a new trade, learn something that you can capitalize on. Hallelujah. Because God says he's given us the power to get wealth and God wants us to be wealthy and be in good health as our soul prosper. He said in his word, hallelujah. In first John, beloved above all things, I wish that you prosper and be in good health. God wants us prospering and being in health. God is a God. Hallelujah. He's a God of provision. Whatever the vision is, he's going to provide the provision. Hallelujah. Whatever door needs to be open, he's going to open the door for you and you will be able to walk in. I saw keys being released. Hallelujah. Keys to new homes, keys to new cars, keys to new offices, keys to new jobs, keys to promotion. Hallelujah. He said it's his good pleasure that he would give us the keys to the kingdom. I don't know about you, but he told the children of Israel when they crossed over the Jordan to go in and to possess the land. Well, it is time for those of us that know Jesus to possess our promised land. It's time for us, hallelujah, to have joy, unspeakable joy. Hallelujah. Ah, glory to God. Ah, hallelujah. And to have peace that surpasses all understanding. Ah, hallelujah. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Are you glad about it today? Are you glad? Hallelujah. That he chose you. Are you glad? Hallelujah. Can you rejoice? Can you rejoice? Knowing that God has chosen you for such a time as this. He has chosen you to be not, not next, but now. Your next is now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever you need, I'm here to tell you that God has it. God got it. And he's ready to give it to you. God is ready to release to you. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever. Whatever you've been praying for, it's on its way. Hallelujah. Well, we give God glory. We give him praise. I didn't want to stay too long today, but I did want to encourage you in the Lord to let you know. See, I, 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 I understand Hallelujah. The principles of God. And I understand that the Lord says to teach his word. Hallelujah. He said, whether they receive it or not, he said to teach, to preach and to prophesy. Glory be unto God, whether they receive it or not. And a prophet is without honor in their own town. Amen. They didn't receive Jesus. They wanted the miracles. They wanted the blessings, but they didn't want the word. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And it is the word that is going to heal us. It's the word that's going to deliver us. It's the word that's going to cause us to be made free. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Stand on God's promises. Stand on his words. Be encouraged in God. Do not sit on his prayers. Do not sit on his praise. Don't sit on your testimony. When God does something good for you, tell it. I, I, if you like me, you don't like telling stuff because uh, you don't be want people to be hating you. But that's all right. God still going to get glory out of it. Go ahead and tell it. If they get mad, tell it. Because everybody ain't going to rejoice with you. There'll be some that will rejoice. 
Hallelujah. But go ahead and tell the story. Hallelujah. How you made it. Tell the story of how God blessed you. Tell the story. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When they counted you out, how God counted you in. Hallelujah. When they counted you down, when they thought you was down, God raised you up. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Look at here, y'all. Let me get out of here. God bless you. I love you. Is my prayer and may God continue to bless you abundantly in 2021. May this be the greatest year of your life. Everybody be blessed and we'll see you next time.